Hi everyone and welcome to Bumby. Today I'm participating in the Fall Kitchen Vignette with this and that, Denise Jordan. Stay tuned so you can see how I decorated my Kitchen Fall Vignette. Well, thank you so much, Denise, uh, for hosting this challenge. I know that I didn't participate in the summer challenge, and the reason for that is I don't have a tray that fits the counter area of the kitchen where I plan to place it. So I was kind of really down because I really wanted to participate in this uh, challenge. Also, for this fall uh, kitchen vignette, I also had an issue trying to find a tray that fits my decor and it's the size that I would need for the counter that I want to use it at. So again, I got kind of down. I know that I'm a couple of days late, but I really wanted to participate. So I was not able to find a tray and then I remembered I have so many cutting boards that I um, collect that why wouldn't why wouldn't I be able to use a wooden board as a tray so I hope that's okay until I find a permanent tray for this kitchen counter so I'm going to be using this cutting board and let's get started and let me show you exactly what I came up and how I'm going to decorate this board using it as a tray until I am able to find a rustic farmhouse tray to fit this area I'm going to show you right now okay so this is the area that I'm going to be using uh, to make uh, my fall kitchen vignette um, right here is the dining room table and behind me is the kitchen so here we go here is my cutting board that I'm going to be using as my tray. This um, challenge requires three items. Plates, a floral, and anything with wording on it. So let's start with placing right over here my Dollar Tree fall dessert plates. Put it right over here. Aren't they pretty? Okay. The next item that I am going to be placing is my requirement floral piece. And this is just a vintage vase that I had here at home. This is Dollar Tree leaves and it's just one stem. And then this is a second smaller stem. And then I just wrap twine all the way around and make sure that this leaf stayed down by just tying the twine all the way around and then ending with just a bow. Okay, so then we're going to place this right over here. The next item that I am going to be placing is my vintage scale. This is one of four scales that I've collected so far. Here we go. So I'm going to place that right over here. Then I'm going to place this vintage kitchen tool right over here. Right here in the middle of the plate over here and the scale, I'm going to place this green colored burlap leaf that you get five of these in a package at Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to place that right over here. See that? The next item that I'm going to place is my Dollar Tree Fall Candle. Mmm, that smells so good. 
going to do that right over here. Next, here's my word piece. And this is a vintage wooden rolling pin, but this is actually a recipe holder. So you can see that, and then it says, love is homemade. So I'm going to place that right here on top of the scale. Inside my rolling pin, I'm going to add my 1930 vintage recipe. And this is pumpkin chiffon pie. Go right over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this burlap pumpkin, yes guys, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to place it right here on top of my four fall Dollar Tree dishes, right here on top. And then the very last item that I have to place over here is this Minute Meter 1930 timer, guys. Yup, I love it. And it works. So there you go. This is my fall kitchen vignette. Thank you all so much for watching uh, my fall uh, kitchen vignette posted by this and that, Denise Jordan. Thank you so much, Denise. It was so much fun, and I need to make sure that I get that uh, tray so I can participate in all the different uh, kitchen vignette that you are planning to host. Now guys, if you don't know who Denise Jordan is, I will have her link right over here Click on it at the end of the video and it'll take you directly to her channel. She gives you advice, um, she's a homemaker, and she is so loving and nurturing. Don't miss Denise Jordan. Check her out right here, right now. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.